Well, we have learned that there is at least one thing that can bring together lawmakers and their constituents, and that is angry Taylor Swift fans. The executives of Live Nation were on Capitol Hill earlier today. And Fox's Lauren Blanchard is in Washington, where lawmakers want to know what went wrong and what caused a ticket meltdown during her ticket sale tour. There's bad blood between Taylor Swift fans, musicians, lawmakers, and those running Ticketmaster. Ticketmaster ought to look in the mirror and say, I'm the problem. It's me. Lawmakers drop lyrics and questions in the Senate Judiciary Committee Tuesday. Millions of angry and ticketless fans prompted the hearing after Ticketmaster's sale of Swift concert tickets in November ended in disaster. It's time for a change. The CEO of Live Nation, which merged with Ticketmaster and controls a majority of ticket sales in the U.S., says they were overrun with bots, despite a billion-dollar investment to combat them. We knew bots would attack that on sale and planned accordingly. We were then hit with three times the amount of bot traffic that we'd ever experienced. The other complaint, tickets are either resold at astronomical prices or so laden down with fees that going to a concert is out of reach for many. We truly do not see Live Nation as the enemy. They're just the largest player in a game that feels stacked against us as artists and often our fans as well. The game, some lawmakers see it as a monopoly because if someone buys a ticket from a secondhand seller, the person must still sign up with Ticketmaster to get their seats. You're forcing them to become your customer in order to take possession of this ticket. But I have to tell you, from a competition standpoint, this really, really worries me. Ticketmaster is facing a class action lawsuit by jilted Swift fans, Live Nation, facing a Justice Department antitrust investigation. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox 26 News.